Welcome to determining whether an equation is exact. So recall, um, if we have an equation in the form uh, m times dx plus n times dy is equal to zero, right? Um, the equation is exact if we have function f in x, y such that m is the first partial of capital F with respect to X, and N is the first partial with respect to Y of capital F. Um, also note, when we reviewed our partial derivatives, the, uh, the part mixed partials with respect to, if we do the partial with respect to X, follow the, the partial with respect to Y, should be equal to the partial with respect to y followed by the partial with respect to x. And so what we get then is if the equation is exact, then the first partial with respect to y of m should be equal to the first partial with respect to x of m. That way we get the two mixed partials when we write m and n in terms of capital F. Um, it turns out that this actually goes both ways. So as long as we have our continuity requirements, um, then all we need to check is that the partial with respect to y of m is equal to the partial with respect to x of m. Putting that in theorem format, uh, if m n then partial with respect to y of cap of m and the partial with respect to x of n are all continuous. on the open rectangle R. So then uh, the equation um, M dx plus N, oops, N dy equals zero is exact on R if and only if the partial with respect to Y of M is equal to the partial with respect to X of M. Um, so just a note, if and only if means that the implication goes both ways. So exact implies this equality holds and the equality holds implies exact. Um, so again, as I was just mentioning, uh, the if and only if means that the implication goes both ways. So this means that exact tells us that the two partials are equal. And it also means that if the two partials are equal, then the equation is exact. So if and only if, um, we go both directions. So this is useful. If we want to see if an equation is exact, all we need to do is check that those partials are equal to each other. So let's consider the equation 8x cubed y cubed plus e to the x, all times dx, plus 6x to the fourth y squared dy is equal to zero. So 
8x cubed y cubed plus e to the x is acting as my m. 6x to the fourth y squared is acting as my n. Um, we are aiming for those mixed partials. So the one with dx, we need to do the partial with respect to y. The one with dy, we need to do the partial with respect to x. So my, the partial with respect to y of capital M, we are looking at the partial with respect to y of 8x cubed y cubed plus e to the x. And again, here we are treating uh, x as a constant. So the x cubed, 8x cubed comes along for the ride. y cubed will go to 3y squared. So we will have 24 x cubed y squared. And then e to the x has no y's in it. So that's essentially differentiating a constant. That will go to 0. So we're looking at 24 x cubed plus y squared times y squared plus 0 or just 24 x cubed y squared. If we now look at n, we wanna take the partial with respect to x so that we get the mixed partial. dy should be paired with the partial with respect to x. Taking this partial with respect to x of six x to the fourth y squared, we're treating y squared as a constant. x to the fourth will go to four x cubed. And that does indeed give us 24x cubed y squared. So in this case, the partial with respect to y is equal to the partial of m is equal to the partial with respect to x of n. And so we get the equation is exact. Um, we're working with polynomials and exponentials, all of which are um, continuous everywhere. And so we don't need to worry about the continuity condition here. Um, let's go ahead and do another example. So we are again looking to see if an equation is exact. We have 2xy plus 4y squared, all of that multiplied by dx, and then plus x squared plus 8y, all of that multiplied by dy. So 2xy plus 4y squared is my m, x squared plus 8y is my n. So from here, what we get, if we take the partial with respect to y of m, we are looking at the partial with respect to y of 2xy plus 4y squared. Treating x as a constant, that first term will go to 2x. And then that second term we are looking at plus 8y. Next up, we need to do the partial with respect to x of our capital M. So we are looking at the partial derivative with respect to x of x squared plus 8y. So here we're treating y as a constant. That first term will go to 2x. Plus 8y, no x is involved. So that's viewed as a constant taking the derivative, we would get zero. So the partial with respect to x of our capital function n is just 2x. So in this case, taking the first partial with respect to y of capital M is not the same as taking the partial with respect to x of capital M. And so we get that the equation is not exact. So this is just a very quick way to determine if your equation came from a multivariable product rule. Um, and if it doesn't, we have work to do. If it did come from the multivariable product rule, then it's a pretty quick trick to solve the problem. So we'll be seeing that in the next video.